At the beginning of the movie, a man named Hiro is shown who is robbing a bank. He points the gun at everyone and demands money from the woman behind the counter. Here the scene cuts and a girl is shown sitting alone. A guard was standing there while the guard moves inside. The girl whistles and calls her friend Bernice. Then they ran from there and were happy while getting freedom from this imprisonment. They keep on moving forward and during this Bernice sleeps and they see a few strange people as they leave the town. Then this scene cuts and Bernice is shown but she was alone at this time and her friends were not with her. Bernice became disoriented and strange dolls were placed around her. She doesn't remember where she is but realizes she shouldn't come here. Everyone was a slave here means the slaves were kept here and none can escape from there. She became stuck here, sobbing and declaring loudly, I am stuck here. I want to move out from there. Then the scene in the town is shown where everyone was happy because a festival was going on there. The government has caught Hero and imprisoned him meanwhile, the governor arrived and there was Bernice's friend with him who ran with him. That is, when they fled the samurai town, the people of governor apprehended Bernice's friend. Bernice went somewhere else. The governor then says, we have heard your admiration that you are brave. He says my granddaughter has run from here, so you must catch her and bring her here. I will release you in return. You have to go to a place named Ghost Land and Bernice went there yesterday night. They believe Ghost Land is dangerous as ghosts and devils live there. So none was ready to go to that place but Hero was ready to go there. Then the governor shows him the picture of her granddaughter. He forcefully makes him wear the suit and after wearing it his device gets activated. He says there are bombs placed in this suit and if you try to take them out, they will blast. You can't take off the suit until you bring Bernice to me. Hero asks him about the device placed in his hand and he says this device is just a timer and he has three days to bring Bernice back. Then Hero moves in search of Bernice and he says there is a truck in front and there were weird and ghost-like people. They throw a harsh light at Hero due to it, nothing is visible. He starts driving at full speed and the car loses its balance. It collides with something and Hero gets into a bad accident. He was lying there being injured and comes to his senses after a short time and then a few people arrive and take him with them while making him a prisoner, they were now considered dwarfs due to their short stature. There was another girl except for Hiro whom they were taking as a prisoner. And Hiro asks that girl are you Bernice? The girl says no I am not Bernice but her friend who ran with her that day. Then they were taken to the ghost land and a lady checked Hiro's blood. Meanwhile, the ghost land's leader arrives and says none escape till today from here. Now if you try to escape from here the ghost will end you. Then they will include you in their ghost army. And the leader asked Hiro why did he come here? Hiro says I come here in search of a girl. And shows him Bernice's picture and a boy says I have seen this girl. He asks him to go near the dolls while pointing towards the dolls. Hiro movie there and finds many girls there and then he finds Bernice among them. Bernice doesn't say anything and doesn't give him any response. A man there tells Hiro that actually, a ghost comes here. And takes the young girl with it while ending them. That's the reason we keep girls and dummies and dolls. Hiro tries to talk to Bernice that I will take you soon from the ghost land. The leader says while laughing that the boys and girls who come here have lost their courage. And that they can't come out of here. So this girl won't say anything and the hero tells Bernice that your grandfather sent me here. To save you and then Hiro shows her picture after saying this. Seeing it Bernice gets ready to go with him. Then he asks Bernice to say his name on the device. So the device will deactivate and her grandfather will discover that Hiro has found her. She remains silent and doesn't say anything due to it, the bomb of the suit activates. There was a blast. Hiro faints and falls while being injured. During this, Hiro sees some flashbacks and he remembers a few things. When he was robbing the bank a few years ago, a bullet was fired and landed on that girl's foot. Her mother also died because of being shot by a bullet. And the poor girl was on the road being injured. Meanwhile, the governor arrives at that girl and takes her to the nearby crib house with him. Here we discover that the girl was none other than Bernice. Bernice was in this condition today because of Hero. We discover about governor and he sells the girls nearby his crib house. He used to say to those girls I am your grandfather now Hero remembers all this. He apologizes to her for ending her mother and for making her injured. Suddenly, the ghosts of the ghost land and the leader arrive. The ghosts were creatures like zombies. The ghosts attack Hero, and one of his bombs activates and blasts during the fight. The ghosts leave due to it. Hero again falls and gets faint while getting injured. He again sees flashbacks where he sees himself standing in ghost land. Bernice is also with him and a lady tells Hero about the ghost land. 
she claims that a nuclear plant was built recently and that nuclear weapons were tested here. A truck loaded with the things was about to arrive but then a bus of prisoners collided with it. There was a huge blast because of it. There was fire everywhere and the people died. Later, it discovers a disease is spread there. And because of it, the people who died were revived like zombies. The zombies are called ghosts and the people who got injured in this incident were looking terrible. The survivors were the people who used to live in the ghost land. Later, the government learned about the disease and quarantined the area. It means none can go out from there. That's why none along with Bernice could escape from there. The owner of this place was none other than the governor. Here he took their benefit instead of helping them. Because he has opened a crib house for the people nearby. Hero's flashback was going on and during this, the bomb was about to blast. Now seeing it, Bernice says her name on that device. The bomb deactivates due to it. The companions of the governor bring that girl who ran with Bernice to the town. Then according to the governor's order to escape they end that girl while taking out their sword. Hero is shown and everyone gets shocked to see him. Hero tells them I have seen a dream where a few kids said I'm getting a second life. As I have to save the people here. That's the reason I am still alive after being bitten by the zombies. Then Hero comes to Bernice and says now it's time for us to leave. Now the people here give Hero a helmet and make weapons for him after preparing. The weapons that he will use to escape from the ghosts and zombies. They were leaving from there the next day and as they move forward there was smoke. Meanwhile, the ghosts and the ghost leader come in front of them. Here the ghost leader shows his face to Hero and Hero asks for his help to release everyone. He agrees then there was a huge blast. Now the scene in the town is shown where everyone was waiting for Hero and Bernice. Hero brings Bernice and he has fulfilled his promise after bringing her there. Then he asks for the keys to the devices placed on the suit. The governor refuses to hand over the keys. Then he calls the guards to end Hero. But Bernice's friend brings the machine gun and ends all of them. Meanwhile, a man shoots a bullet to stop her, and Bernice's friend becomes injured. Hero has caught Bernice to save his life while pointing a knife at her. The canyons of governor comes to attack Hero. But during this, Bernice leaves there with her friend. She drops her at a safe place and then moves forward to help Hero. Then a guard of the governor came to Hero and he was dominating Hero. The governor was escaping but reaching the crib house he saw the girls run while taking the things. After fighting a lot the guard and Hero gesture to end the fight while placing their sword down. The guard tries to attack Hero cleverly but Hero was ready for that attack already. He bends down to take his sword and ends the guard. On another side the governor comes to Bernice's friend to end her. But she wisely snatches the keys to Hero's suit from him. Meanwhile, Bernice arrives and points a gun at the governor. The governor becomes furious seeing this and starts saying ill to her. While claiming that I will bring many more girls like you here and that I will not stop. Bernice ends him while attacking him. And Hero takes the keys to the devices from Bernice's friend. Then he deactivates all devices. After it, a girl reaches the ghost land while running and tells everyone that she has good news. That is Hero has ended the governor. Everyone was relieved to hear this because they were now free. They can now easily leave from here. Thanks for watching.